In this video I'm going to show you how using Thrive Architect you can create those cool scroll to the bottom or scroll back up to the top buttons in your website home pages or sales pages to help your visitors get back to where they were easily and fast. Now this isn't something that's easily built into the Thrive Architect Builder, but we can actually create our own simple buttons using an actual standard Thrive Architect button and then some cool little trick using HTML. It's not the ideal solution. You would actually want to use some really cool scrolling JavaScript to do this, but because we don't have access to that in the Builder, we're just going to have to use a standard button. So let's say you want to do a scroll from the bottom like this one here. I'll show you how I actually made that. Let's quickly delete that one and then we put in a brand new button at the bottom. If you're not familiar with the Thrive Architect buttons, they're made up of text and then the button surrounding it. And what you can also do on the left hand side at the top here is click on the button and icon type and that gives us an icon. Now you have to make a decision whether you want to have just the up arrow or whether you want to have the up arrow with some text saying something like back to the top. Back to top. You could have that in there. And then you would want to change the icon. So you have to click away from the text again because it's a separate element. Choose the icon and then I would search for the word up. And I think the one that makes the most sense is what's called the chevron up arrow. And it's very small here. So we want to increase the font size. So we scroll down until we get to the typography section. And then we can increase the font size quite a bit. What I also want to do is click on the icon and I want to increase the icons font size even more. So that's really obvious. And the text is big, but not as big as the icon. Now, because we don't want this to look like a button, we have to flip this around. I'm going to change the button color and the font color. Let's do the font color first. I'm going to change it to gray and then apply. Obviously, it looks really bad. We're going to change the background to white to fix that. If you don't have white chosen, you can either slide the slider to the top right corner to get white or you can just type in three or six F's works to get you pure white. And then we have a back to the top element here. It's actually a button, but it doesn't look like a button because we've removed the background. So if you want to keep that in the center, you can do that. You can also align it to the right, going down to the layout section and clicking these alignment buttons and move it to the right. We also want to increase the padding here a little bit. If you're not familiar with these, you can type in the number in here or you can use the arrows or the, the mouse button to do that. And I want to reduce the padding here to bring it here. So that looks quite nice. Pretty cool. I'm impressed. Fast. Yes. Easy. Check. Okay. So this is a button. We can click on it. Now the cool thing with that is we can turn that into a link. Buttons have links. But we don't have a specific page to go to. We have a section on the page we want to go to. And HTML has that built in that you can use elements as sections and click to them. So you just need to give them a name. And that name has to start with the hash, like on your telephone, the hash or the pound. And you just have to give it a name. And we're going to use this to go to the top. So let's call it top. Pretty obvious. I would have thought so. So we want to scroll to the top now. We've got to tell it where to scroll to. So let's pick an element at the top, either this box here with the tide of having your website box, or you can choose the whole section here. And then we need to click on that and then scroll all the way down to templates and styles to the ID element here and type the word in top without the hash. So the button has the hash, the ID has no hash. And then we click save. And then we just need to do a preview on this, which is using those three dots down there because we need to get a live version of this for it to work properly. And now we have the back to the top button. And if we click it, it brings us back to the top. Not perfect, 
not 100% ideal. I would like a nice sexy scroll. I can give you one of those if you guys want the sexy scroll. I can give you the code for that, but it gets a little bit trickier. You need to mess around with the back end. If you're familiar with that, give me a yell. I can send you some of that kind of stuff. I've used it on previous websites before, but it's not built in to Thrive, so I've just left that out. This is just a straight back up to the top button. You could also put similar things in the sections of your web pages, but to be honest, as long as the top of your site is not too big and you can see the next sections on the page, they're not hidden below the fold of the, the edge of the browser, that's the best way to design because if you design that you can't see the next sections, then a down arrow is good, but I think you're better off designing like this where you can see the next sections. So people know they need to scroll down and then you've just given them scroll back to the top. Nice and easy, cool trick. Hope that helped you guys. If you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up in the video below. If you've got some comments or questions, let me know how you're going to use this in the comments. There's other Thrive videos in this stack if you want to check those out, how to do parallaxes, how to do home pages fast like this one. I've got some other tricks up my sleeve to teach you guys later. So if you want to subscribe, I'll be making more videos on Thrive also on SEO, as that's one of the main things I do for clients. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video.